right. If I just start by um, giving you my email address and uh, Twitter name, because I will get nervous and start talking really fast in Geordie, and you won't be <laughs> So I am at Pigtree Lara on Twitter, and my email address is lara.roberts at redhouseschool.co.uk. Um, just before I start telling you some of the ideas, I just want to talk a bit about teach meets. I have always taught in a one-person department, and um, and it's always been quite difficult to sort of get any sort of help with anything, um, and to sort of try and develop the curriculum and sort of brainstorm ideas. Um, and I got onto Twitter, and then through that got onto uh, through to teach meets. If you haven't been to a teach meet, they happen all over the country. There is a website, if you just Google teach meet, there's a PB Works website, and they happen all over. There's also a very big event in the Northeast called Pedagoo Wonderland, which is happening at uh, Christmas time. Pedagoo is very similar to teach meet. It started in Scotland, but now happens again all over the country. But you can follow that on Twitter, and a lot of the presentations are shared on Twitter. So the idea is, actually I've been to one teach meet where there was another RE teacher in the room, but I think every other time I've probably been the only one there. But So a lot of what I'm showing you today is really just things that I have magpied, stolen from other people. Uh, a lot of them are geography <coughs> teachers' ideas, some of them are my own. Um, and they're really just, I guess, gimmicks. I'm not ashamed to say. Uh, but the children like them. And my year 11's wrote the list of what I'm going to talk to you about today. So. Hopefully, um, if you try some of these things, you'll, you'll enjoy it. So the, the Jenga, you don't have to use blackboard paint. I had some because I've got children who <coughs> painted a blackboard once uh, in, our room, in our house. So the idea is you would play Jenga as you would normally, stack them up. Usually, I might have four or five sets on the go if I'm teaching a full class. And they take a block and whatever word that is, they've got to say something about it. It might be a definition, it might be an example of a belief, whatever it might be. When eventually all the, everything falls down, they then need to make connections between the words that have, or, that have fallen down. So um, I did this with year six, and we were looking at Buddhism. Um, so we had lots of different words. We had the um, four sites of suffering and, and that kind of thing. Lots and lots of different things, and they made lots of connections. And of course, the good thing about that is there's no right or wrong answers. And then it's about how you're explaining those connections and looking at why people have different ideas uh, than you and that kind of thing. So that worked really well. And those Jenga sets, if you go to somewhere like Asda or Tesco, they're about £3 each. They're not very expensive. And the guy whose idea I've stolen, I think he actually didn't even bother to paint them. I think he just wrote on them in pencil. But you can also get smart board paint, which is like whiteboard paint, so that would work with them as well. Um, Poundland Pedagogy I'm a big fan of and I did a teach me in school. So my year sixes love these. I am uh, a girl of the 80s. So this is a song, I can't remember the people who sang it. The future so bright that I wear shades. So if someone gives me a really good answer, they wear, <laughs> they wear the sunglasses. They like it and I've written on it in gold pen and they really like it. Uh, another thing I bought from Poundland, eggs. Obviously they are seasonal. Um, but, <laughs> but if you go to Poundland, um, so what I did with these in my GCSE classes is I put a GCSE question in them, I do Ed Excel, so I put a GCSE question in them and I numbered them all and then they had to go take the GCSE question out and write part of the answer, leave the part of the answer out and take the question. Then the next person who came to that egg had to try and work out what the question was and so on and so on until they had visited all of the eggs. I've done a similar thing with QR codes, I'm sure some of you will be familiar there. It's so easy to make uh, on websites where I've put QR codes around the school and they've gone around and um, it's linked to either GCSE questions or relevant articles or points from the textbook or I've got them to make them and I put QR codes in their books with relevant articles. They make QR codes with model answers to questions and that kind of thing. Oh, I'm nearly up. I've got so much more. Postcards for success. I'll pass these around to my year 11 did these on Friday. So they're going to pass them on to year 10. And I've got my old year 11, so I shouldn't say that, the ones who've gone to sixth form. They have also written some, and they're going to be sending them to my current year 11. So just ideas of what you need to do to be really brilliant. Socrative, one last thing. Did Socrative in my year 11. They, it was various questions, some of the things they haven't looked at, and they then went away and did a mind map, and I'll pass those around based on making connections between the different answers in the textbook.